Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. Um, I just wanted to come on, I know it's been a while, I've been meaning to do this now, um, and give you guys, I'm gonna start to do some 10 minute workouts for you to use um, either by themselves for a quick 10 minute burn, or to maybe add on as a supplement to a cardio workout, uh, alternatively maybe doing this set twice in a row. Um, so anyway, today we're gonna focus on the lower body, um, I'm going to go ahead and use a band, um, so if you have a long Clara band, you can tie it around your upper thighs, if you have one of these short ones, they're great, um, if not, this will definitely be a good enough workout without anything. So, I'm just going to start just placing the band over the outer thighs, okay? And then we're just going to do a quick little roll down for a warm-up, taking an in, down, in, exhale, coming up and over, really tucking that tail under and reaching down, and then rolling slowly back to up. Last thing to head. come up is the head. Again, taking an inhale, exhale, coming down, rolling down, and finding that way. And then exhale, rolling back up. And the last time here, taking an inhale up, and exhale down. And staying down here, shaking everything out, walking those hands out. So we're in a plank stance and holding here. So hands are under the shoulders, tummies pulled in. Okay, and just holding in that plank here for five, four, three, two, and one. Pushing in back and back, downward dog. Pedaling those feet out. Good. Letting everything hang. Finding that nice stretch in the shoulder blades. Pushing through. Relax here. sure that those knees are right over the toes here and then we're going to hold it down here and pulse it out so think of it sitting back into a chair the upper body is nice and tall not slouching in trying to peel those toes off the back and really sink back into those heels we're here for 10 more seconds for 10 8 7 6 and pull it up. Shaking it out, okay? We're gonna come back into that same stance, so you'll be a little bit um, wider than hip distance if you have the band, just for some tension. We're gonna squat down and lift that right leg up. So single leg squats here. So lifting and pressing. Shh. 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 So we're keeping that right foot or put that going up, I don't know what side you're on, uh, flexed. So we're really working that outer thigh here and really sitting back into that left side. Okay, so again, making sure that left knee over left toe. We have four more and then we go in to the other side in two. And one and changing over, switching sides here. Good. The so heart rate should be up. Really sitting back on that right leg. Shh. 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 
keeping that left leg extended, really reaching. 10 more seconds here. So we're trying to do about a minute per exercise. Last four, three, two, and one. Shaking it out. Good. Last, last one we're gonna do standing up. We're gonna do some lunges, okay? So you're gonna bring the um, strap down towards your feet. Okay, we'll start off on the left side so that right foot is gonna kind of wiggle into the back of the band. If you need some support, you can either use next to a wall or have a chair. If not, it's gonna be a little more difficult. <laughs> okay, you're gonna come into a split stance. Pulling everything in, really engaging through that core. You're gonna bend down on the standing leg and then exhale, push out. So exhale, push with the right leg as if you're pushing into a wall and really squeeze through that left to stand it up. So exhale, squeeze and push. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze it and lift. Squeeze and lift. Got 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna change sides. Last five. Four. into the band if you're using it, and pulling that left arch of your foot into the band, turning facing the other side, okay? Again, if you're not using the band here, you're gonna be able to get a much bigger range. So you might wanna really try and elongate everything and find that length. You can see the size much easier for me. <laughs> we all have our sides. Pushing, pushing through the glutes. Last 10 seconds on this side. Last five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. So now we're going to come down to the mat for a bit and do some bridge work some pelvic roll-ups here. So if you have the band, you're going to keep it on. If you don't, again, it's fine. You're going to have a little lie down, rolling it down on the mat. Okay, pulling those ribs in, settling in. Palms are going to be on the, on the mat. Okay, we're going to bring those toes back in so that they're towards the glutes. Okay, and we're going to slowly peel the pelvis up. Roll it up here, and then inhale, roll it back down. Tucking, and then rocking and rolling back up. And then again, coming back down. Now I want you to come up onto your toes here. So on the toes, heels off, and we're gonna go into singles. So we're gonna exhale, lift, inhale, lower. So lift and lower. So we're here for 30 seconds. Again, keeping the ribs and the core fully engaged as you squeeze through those glutes. If you have that band, I want you to be pushing out on the sides. Okay? Just staying up, continuing here, really trying to keep those shoulders down on the mat, open, collarbone open. Last 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up, place those heels down, and be able to lift those toes off the mat. And now we're gonna pulse the knees out here. So whether you have a band or not, you're pushing the, knee, the knees towards the outside. Okay, so we're pushing. I want to make sure that you're not dipping in the hips. We're not doing this. You're staying nice and tall, one nice line between the knee, hip, and shoulder. 
really focusing on squeezing, keeping everything nice and tight. The only thing that should be moving are the knees opening and closing. You have 20 seconds here. Knowing to breathe, as Pilates as we like to say. Exhale, um, exhale uh, when you're doing the work, right? So exhale to open here. Inhale to close, last five, four, three, two, and one. Holding it up here, still not coming down. We're gonna go into single legs. We're gonna bring that right leg into tabletop. And we're gonna lower and lift, lower and lift. So again, hips staying nice and level. Don't dip into that one side. You're only here for 30 seconds. And on the last one, we're gonna extend that leg straight if we can. And we're extending it nice and straight, pointing, pointing towards the ceiling, really pushing through, finding that energy in your practice today. Last five, four, three, two, one. Bringing that right foot down. Heel comes down, that left leg comes right up into tabletop, keeping both hips nice and high. We start to push through on the right. Lowering and lifting. Inhale and exhale. Almost there. into the one side, all right? Really focusing here on that connection, keeping that tummy pulled in, and those hips both squared off to the floor, okay? Last 10 seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to take that same leg, bring it into a nice 90 degree angle. Again, readjusting so that my hips are facing down toward the floor and we're gonna flex that left foot and push it up. Exhale, lift. So kicking, almost as if we're kicking the ceiling here. So you're really getting a nice push in that left, left glute. Towards the front of your mat. Okay. 
few more here. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Coming back down, let's just take a quick child stretch here before we go into the other side. Okay, and then coming up, we're just gonna swing around and finish off the right side. So coming into that, again, that four point kneeling position. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, pulling in through the tummy, engaging the core, and we're lifting. Lifting out to the side and down. Exhale, lift. Inhale to lower. Making sure those hips are nice and square. Pulling into the tummy, supporting the low back. You should only be feeling this in the knees right now. Keeping that right foot nice and flexed the whole time. About another 10 seconds. And we're going to change position. Last five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bringing that leg back and set a nice 90 degree angle, readjusting, making sure those hips are square, keeping that right foot nice and flat, and we're lifting and lowering. So you really don't want that knee to lower so much uh, less than uh, hip height. So you're keeping your leg quite high the whole time, and we're doing tiny pulses, really focusing on the bottom of that right glute. Exhale, lift, and inhale, lower. And pulling that tummy in. You're more than halfway there. We have 10 more seconds. And then we finish up with our last exercise and a little stretch. You guys are good to go. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Bringing it down. Again. Moving the left arm optional here, so we extend that right leg straight out, come on the mat. If you'd like, that left arm comes up for a bit more of a challenge, and we lift and lower. We lift and lower. So making sure not to shift weight, pulling up in through the tummy, really squeezing that back glute. Exhale, lift, and inhale, lower. Breathing through. Last 10 seconds here. Left five, four, three, two, and one. Bringing it in. Taking a quick little child pose here. You can bring your knees a bit wider, uh, as wide as the mat. Taking a nice stretch here. Walking the hand over to the left, pulling that right hip back. Getting a nice stretch down the right side. And then coming back center, walking over to the right, pulling that left hip back. Getting a nice stretch down the left. And then coming back onto all fours. We're gonna go back into how we started. So we're gonna Pop our feet under and come into that nice plank. We're going to finish off holding our plank here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then slowly coming back into that downward dog, pedaling it out, letting that head hang, finding that space between the shoulder blades. We're trying to get those heels to touch and then holding it down on the left and then change holding it down on the right and then come back up center and one more stretch down and then slowly walking it back shaking everything out here doing a nice slow roll up tucking that tail under Coming up vertebrae by vertebrae. Last thing coming up is your head. 